Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Game Gen channel where I am playing Moirai, which is a free-to-play game on Steam, which I also saw on Reddit as well as being highly recommended. Um, apparently, it's a uh, very short game, only about 10 minutes or so, but apparently it's very, 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 very good. And apparently, the less you know, the better, so I have no idea what it is. Oh, okay. Awesome. So it looks like we're in a little village, I guess. Let's talk to the police. My prayers go out to poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't been seen all day. I imagine she's grieving. Do you mind visiting her at her home? There's a house to the right as you leave town. Okay. So, Julia's husband died? Need to stay close to Mama, otherwise she'll worry that we've run off again. Did you hear about the boy? Julia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia. I will never let my boys out of my sight. Wow. So immediately, Julia's lost her husband and her son, which is not a good start. I heard there is gold in the cave, but I'm too scared to enter. They say there's a little boy that haunts over your shoulder. Lovely. Okay. Um, let's see who's in here. Oh, okay. So, chef? Chef? Yeah. Looks like a lovely day outside. You should head out to the farm if you get the chance. Spend some time with the animals. Okay. Sometimes Daddy lets us pat the sheep on the head. They're so soft. Okay, I'll leave Julia's house for last. My uncle and dad are out chopping wood to help keep us warm in the winter. They should be home soon. Okay. Alright, let's go and check into Julia's house. Hmm. There is a picture on the shelf of a wife, husband, and a young boy. I wonder where they are. Julie is not at home. Maybe she's out by the farm. If you could find her, that would be appreciated. Okay. Let's go to the farm. I presume that says to the farm. Yeah. Farm. Okay. Hello, sheep. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's locked. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Who's that? A lumberjack. My brother and I were chopping wood when we heard moans coming from the cave. My brother went in to investigate. He should have been back by now. I'm worried. Can you check on him? There's a lantern behind you on that stump. Okay. Lantern. Okay. Hey you, come over here. Did my brother send you? Bless him. The moans are coming from further down. I'd go in, but my sight's no good. You should take this knife. Who knows? You may need it. How do I stab? Okay. Oh, this is a big ass area. How am I supposed to search this properly? So confined. Some must have died here. The bones look as though they are a child's. Hmm. Well, I guess I know where Julia's son died. This is turned slightly horrory. Horrory. Oh, I'll have a wander down here. Okay. Okay. 
There's a book on top of this pedestal. It's labelled Farmers. There is a list of names inside. Axel, Liam, Big Boy, Slopper. How eerie. Put tools. There are some tools leaning against the wall. It looks as though they've been used to mark carvings to the wall. Okay. That's not creepy or anything. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm checking on this brother. Okay, fine. Onwards we go. Uh. Oh. Hi there. Oh, hi. A farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Why do you have a knife? I heard moans. What have you done? Let them pass. Let them pass. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. I came here to end my life. My name is Julie and I want to see my child and husband in heaven. My husband was a miner in these caves. He spent days mining for gold and then one day he found something. He found a golden nugget. I thought we could retire and be comfortable for the rest of our lives, but he didn't trust me. He buried the golden nugget to spite me, then he disappeared. Everyone in the town heard about your good fortune. our good fortune. They thought I was rich. I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell them the truth. One day my son wandered into the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better. But he never came out of the cave. I went to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. Now I have no one. Will you help me? Will you help me end my life? Uh. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I mean, she's lost everything, but you can't just you can't just kill someone, even if they're asking for it. But then this is a whole debate about euthanasia and all that kind of hard. I, 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 I'm gonna go and leave me, you coward. Oh, okay. She spat on me. Okay. Why do you have a knife? Oh. Oh, I see where this is going. That is where the story shall end, at least for now. It is up to the next player of this game to choose your fate. Just as you chose for the previous player. <laughs> huh. You will be emailed about your fate. Thank you for playing. Press, press space to submit your details. Alright, so after that, that was quite an odd little twist to the game, I must say. Uh, it's a very good uh, social experiment. So, after a couple of minutes, I did indeed get an email about what came of me. So, I will just read it out to you guys. And I'll put it up on the screen as well. As you left the cave, you were confronted by a farmer called Carl. They asked you three questions. The first question that was asked was, Why do you have blood on your overalls? To which you responded, Julia spat blood on me. She tried to kill herself. The second question that was asked was, I heard moans. What have you done? To which you responded, Nothing. 
The third question that was asked was, why do you have a knife? To which you responded, the brother gave it to me. After hearing your answers, Carl decided to let you pass. This seems appropriate as you let the previous farmer, McKay, walk past despite being covered in blood. And that draws an end to your involvement in the story. Thank you for playing. So, it was a very nice twist, I want to say. It's a very, very unique game. Uh, I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't actually call it a game, really. It's more like a social experiment put in a game form. Uh, so, yeah, so I urge you guys to give it a go. Make your own choices. See what answers you write. See what answers you get. Uh, looking back on it now, I kind of wish that I asked uh, the other farmer the questions. Because I didn't know. I thought, I thought you just get, like, one choice. So, um, but yeah, so... If you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you want to subscribe to some more Game Jump material, please hit the subscribe button. And until next time, this is the Game Jump signing out.